Hey guys, hey PK, hey Fuel Wow, and today you're going to be seeing this um, outfit quite a couple of more times, so enjoy. Um, <laughs> today, as you can see by the title, it's all about facts about Escape the Night that you didn't know. So I want to say thank you for 2,000 subscribers, like, wow, was not expecting that. Um, I am thinking about doing a giveaway, so if you want me to do a giveaway, I'll put a poll up here. The only problem is it will be only like a sticker giveaway, because finding Escape the, the Night merch is the most difficult thing in the world. Like, there's some Escape the Night merch, but it's old, and I want season 3, so I made it by myself. Um, so I made the sticker by myself. It's on Redbubble, so if you want me to put that public as well so you can get that, then comment down below and I will. But um, so it'll be only a sticker, but I hope that's fine. It's a little giveaway for 2,000 subscribers. But yeah, if you want me to do that, please click the poll up here. Editing group, make sure you do the poll. It's going to be difficult, but you know, let's get, let's just try that. And yeah, let's get on to the video. It was more of a mystery murder party before it turned into what it was. He explained in an article recently that he wanted to have a murder mystery type dinner with his friends and he was trying to research companies that would come into the house and like set it up for him and then he YouTube came around and he pitched them ideas and then he, he went up a notch and he decided to have cameras in the rooms and stuff like that so yeah. Don't know if that's a good one, but we'll keep that in. Okay, number two. Joey doesn't know what happens in the show. So, with Escape the Night, I thought Joey would have an idea of what will happen because it is his, it is his show. In an article again, it says that Joey didn't know anything, like the clues. He didn't know the clues. He didn't know what was happening and he did that because he wanted real reactions from himself and in another um interview that i watched i found out that it was his decision to do that because he wanted to be a part of it and when he was planning it he was like oh i want to be a part of the show so he was part of the show and he doesn't know anything he doesn't know the clues he knows nothing three filming was tough now this was probably the like the of course it's tough to film this they filmed on five nights and they filmed like two episodes each night so it says here that they will start around 10 p.m and then wrap up at 9 a.m at 6 a.m um so it was really intense and it was really difficult between episodes because in the middle of the night we were in a trailer just sitting on our couches getting relaxed and then had to shoot again no one will know what happens next so there's an example that Joey says in an interview where he basically was reading a clue and then all of a sudden someone was knocking on the window and screaming and they all had to run and they didn't know that was going to happen. They don't know what's going to, what's behind the door, they don't know anything. Number five, number five, that was ten, number five, number five, the set was real. Season one. Um, it was 45 minutes outside of LA apparently and it was like a manor hotel and had crater dungeon like basement um, and then for this season season three if I remember correctly it um, if I remember from an interview he wanted something different he didn't want a house because all seasons were in a house so he went round and found like a kind of backyard and then he made it to his words, a bit gayer. So, <laughs> his words. <laughs> um, but yeah, he wanted to, he was like, ah, oh, this should be a circus. And then he made it a bit gayer. So yeah, um, the set is real. <laughs> and I hope no one hates me for saying that because that was his words, not mine. Okay, you know, number six. You know the character, you know the YouTuber called Sierra? Sierra, please mind my speech problems but C Sierra and this person basically <laughs> remember this person yeah she wasn't meant to die <laughs> she 
she wasn't actually meant to die when she did. So you know the scene where Matt puts the rosary on um so seats. You know where Matt puts the rosary on her, on her and um she died. That wasn't actually meant to happen. Um they actually stopped that filming and then the producers literally said to her you're you're gonna die now that was not meant to happen but you are now gonna die it was like kind of unexpected the other guy who was trying to save my life like doing all these tasks he failed so that's what made me die but then the producers were like oh you're dead now we have to reshoot it because I don't think they're expecting me to die it was also led to it is also led to believe that it was actually Matt that was meant to wear it, but Matt put it on her. So basically she wasn't meant to die and the producer stopped the filming and was like, this wasn't meant to happen, but it's now going to happen, so you're going to die. Bye. So, a bit of a shame for her, but like stuff happens, I guess. Number seven. The scenes are actually real life, if that makes sense. Like, um, and Andrea Russett. Um, did a video on her escape the night experience and she mentioned um, a scene about a vampire and she had to suck the blood out of it she was hoping some she was expecting like the producer to stop the um, filming and be like okay just pretend to do it blah blah, blah. no she literally had to suck blood out of a vampire First night, the theme was vampires, and I had to suck blood out of a vampire's neck. I didn't understand, like, are they gonna cut the cameras and then we pretend I do it? Like, what's somebody gonna, like, tell me what to do here? No, I literally just had to suck blood out of a vampire, and it was, I was like, oh shit, we are here to play! She literally had to suck blood out of a vampire. Number eight, Joey doesn't give the YouTubers their characters, so you... So Joey does give um, the characters names, so like the super spy or the investigator reporter, they all get names, but they do not get their characters. The YouTubers themselves make up their characters and make up like their feel of the characters, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Number nine, only some is scripted. Now this is my like, this was, this has been my question for a long time how much is of, of it is scripted and apparently according to Joey in a um, interview only some is scripted he this was in this was for a season one interview so I don't know what's changed since then but for season one he had one script out of all of the episodes and that was basically welcoming the guests he had a monologue of welcoming welcoming the guests and that's it, that's all he did, and the rest was not scripted. The only other scripted parts in the show was flashbacks that set the scene, like flashbacks that set the episode, that is obviously scripted, and I don't, I still don't know about the actors, are they scripted? I don't know. But yes, only some is scripted, which I was like, whoa, okay. Last and not least, number 10, Joey isn't the director of Escape the Night. Now, when I heard this, I was like, what? <laughs> what now? His show, his idea, and he's not the director. And in a 2016 interview, he confirmed that he did not direct Escape the Night, which to me was quite shocking. I was like, why? It's your show, you should be able to direct it. But at the same time, he probably didn't direct it because he wanted to be involved with it and he probably wanted to like have um some in yeah he wanted to be involved in it and he didn't want to ruin it for himself i guess but yeah he did not he does not direct it so that's all the facts i talk quite fast that was 15 minutes long wow okay so that was all the facts for today um i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like comment and subscribe and thank you so much for 2k subscribers again if you want the stickers giveaway or you want me to make the stickers public hopefully i don't get sued i don't know um there's a poll up there if you want to you know do the giveaway and comment down below if you want me to actually 
make the stickers pro um, public for you to get. But yeah, other than that, thank you so much and I'll see you all again soon in like two hours and in six hours because Escape the Night's on tonight. So I'll see you all again soon. Bye!